hello everyone in this video we will see how to perform validations with entity data model so I'm going to quickly create a new project I'll name it as EDM validation say ok I'll go for empty MVC ok now I'm going to add my EDM or you can say entity data model I'll say add new item already we have seen in our earlier videos how to work with entity data models so I'm going to add edit ordinary entity data model and it has my model so add I'm going to generate it from the database I'll say next and my connection string test this organization db test connection k k next say next i'm going to add single table that is department finish so i got my department model you can just look it here this is the department model that i got save this now I'll go for creating a controller I'll say add controller I'm going to generate controller using entity framework say add I'll name it as home controller and my model will be TBL department context object I don't want layout it should generate views as well so here I have used scaffolding let me execute so I'll say create new now if I say create you see that it is not validating say 5 validation failed for one or more entities so how do I perform validation first of all let us see the view you can see this in view you already have validation message for and you already have javascript file so your visual studio is doing all the things for us in scaffolding the only thing that we need to do is go to department and in the department name I need to simply say require I need to add data and notation and I'll save this now let me execute I'll say create and I'll say create now see that department field is being validated so I have edited the file which is generated by your entity framework but if you read this message this code was generated from a template manual changes to this file may cause unexpected behavior in your application manual changes to this file will be overridden if the code is regenerated so this is the important point for us it means whatever we have done these changes this will go off if I regenerate the code means what say I want to update EDM simply I'll just right click and say update model from database and I need to add one more table I'll say finish now I'll say save all say yes say yes say yes to all now if you go back to department do you find that attribute anymore no so this is the problem that we face in our real-time apps so what do we need to do we can take the advantage of partial class now I can go and write one more TBL department partial class and I can give the definition for 
these properties or you can say some metadata for this property so how do i do that it is very simple now i'll just add a class this class is for tbl department so i'll name it as tbl underscore dept meta in this i'm going to define a property which should be exactly the same as the property that we have in our tbl department that is d name so i'll just go for prop tab tab string d name and is caps i'll save this now here i can apply my required field validator and now i need to apply this metadata to the tbl department class so i'll go for public partial tbl underscore dept class tbl underscore So I have the same class that is public partial class tbl underscore dept. Now I need to apply the metadata attributes. Metadata type attribute and here I need to say type of the class that I have defined above that is tbl underscore metadata table meta. that is tbl underscore department meta means what now i'm trying to apply this meta type to department name of this class now I'll save all now let me execute it should work perfect go for create new and say create now see that it is validating the department if at all i update something it is going to regenerate tbl department but it is never going to update the other file that is tbl department meta now if you want the same way if you want to validate hod as well simply copy this paste it here Test it here and apply the required field validation. Execute it. That's it. You can see that it is validating the form. So, this is how we do in our real time projects when we are working with entity framework or entity data model and MVC. So in our next video, we will see how to create custom validations. That means if I want to perform some business rule validations, for example, I should have a unique email address. If a user is registering, I need to check whether this email address already exists. So this is my business rule validation. So these are all form validation. Now I can implement my business rule validation using custom validators in your MVC. So we will see that in our next video. Thank you very much.